In this tutorial, we will learn how to create profile and trajectory rip in Creo. Here is the rip tool. Right now, the rip tool is inactive. To make it active, you will have to create some object. You will create two plates. Click on extrude. We will select this surface and create one center rectangle. Press metal nose button. Click on OK. Then I will give thickness of 20. Enter. OK. Then I will create one vertical plate also. Click on extrude. Select this surface. I will take reference of this line. Close. I will create one more center rectangle for vertical plate. Press middle mouse button. Click on OK. Press middle mouse button. Now I want to create one rib here. Now click on this arrow near the rib and click on this profile rib. Then select this plane. Then click on this sketch view. Then take the references to create line here. Click on references. I will take the reference of this point and this point. Click on close. Create one line. Click on line from this point to this point. Press middle mouse button. Again, press middle mouse button. Click on OK. Orbit it. Now the direction of rib is on outside, but I want it inside. Click on this direction. Then here you can specify the thickness of the rib. Suppose I want it to be 20. Now the rib is created with sketch at the center of the rib. If you want to shift the rib on one side of the sketch, then you will have to click here. Change thickness option between both sides, side 1 and side 2. If you click on this, here it is shifted on the left side. Again, if you click on this button, it will be shifted on the right side. And again, if you click on it, it will go back to center option. That means it will be half on either side of the sketch. So you can click this button three times for three option and click on OK. Here is profile rib is created. Same way if you want to create profile rib between two cylinders. Suppose I will delete these two extrude and profile. Right click delete and I will create two cylinders. Click on extrude. Click on the surface. I will create one bigger circle here. Press middle mouse button, click on OK. I will take this height as it is. OK. Then I will create one smaller circle here. Click on extrude, select this surface. Click on circle. Give the center point, give the radius point. Press middle mouse button, click on OK. I want to reduce the height. Click on OK. Now here I want to create a rib between these two cylinders on this plane. Again click on this profile rib. Select this plane. Click on sketch view. Then take the references. Click on references. Now in this case I will take the reference of this vertical line and this vertical line. Click on close. Take the line command, give the first point, give the second point. Press middle mouse button, click on OK. Change the direction to inside. Now here, rib is not created. When there are two cylinder portions, you will have to create one more line on the higher side. To edit this line, click on this references, click on edit here. Click on sketch view. Then create one vertical line here. Click on line. Give the first point, give the second point. Press middle mouse button. Click on OK. Reverse the direction to inside. And here rib is created. Increase the thickness. And click on OK. Here you can view that it is properly created. In this way you can create rib for two cylindrical portions. 
then other rip type is trajectory rip for this we will just delete these two cylindrical portions and profile rip we will increase the height of this portion double click here increase the height click middle mouse button then for a rib I will create shell click on shell here select this surface to be removed give the thickness I want thickness to be 5 click on ok then click here and select trajectory rib then select this surface click on sketch view then create layout of your ribs using line command take line command then create the layout of your ribs press middle mouse button give first point second point press middle mouse button create the layout as per your requirement there is no need to connect it to the boundary edges it will be extended automatically you just have to show the direction and location where you want the rib then click on ok orbit it here the rib structure is created from here you can give the thickness I want it to be 10 enter from here you can change the direction now this direction is correct if I click on it it will not create the rib because there are no constraining surfaces I will again click on this arrow then for this rib you can also add the draft by clicking on this click here on add draft then to defend the draft angle here is the draft angle double click on it and give the angle I want it to be 5 degree here is draft of 5 degrees created on either side of the rib you can also add rounds to add rounds on internal edges click here it will add rounds to internal edges and if you want to control the radius of this round here the dimension is added for rounds double click on it and you can give the desired dimension as per that it will be updated and if you want to add round to the top portion then you will have to click here on add round on exposed edges that is outer edges click on it give it some time here round is added to outer edges now here for outer edges round radius has been taken automatically if you want to change the radius for outer edges then you will have to click on this shape here now here round top by two tangent round therefore it has automatically taken the radius as per the thickness and if you want to specify other value then click here and give the desired value suppose I want radius to be 2 enter give some time to update and here the round is created with 2 radius and if you want the both the radius to be same then you can click here same as top so it will automatically match the radius of internal edges and top edges and from here you can change the draft angle thickness also then to come out click on shape and click on ok here is the profile rib is created thanks for watching we will stop here